We are headed down to the drift event, well, private day, drift day. We got the Miata in tow, as you can see. Ben's got his Miata in tow, as you can see. This will be the first time we've drifted both Miatas together um, since he's got his done. And uh, yeah, it's exciting. We're towing down together. Should be a lot of fun. The forecast is worrisome with the rain. It, it's the, it was like 90%, 100% chance for like the whole duration of the private day. Um, but it, it's gone down some. So we were debating on taking our, our like missile cars on my RX-7 and his turbo Miata instead so we could just smash them up in the rain. But like last minute, we're like, oh, we already got these loaded up. Let's take these. Plus, we, you know, we really want to drift them together. I'm going to be putting a 6.2 in my car soon. Um, so I really wanted to drift it with his car uh, before I upgrade it just because it'd be fun to see, you know, how they do and what they're like together. So anyway, moral of the story is we're going drifting. Should be fun. Hopefully it doesn't rain too much and we get some good laps in. Miata on Miata, same tires even. We're running 225 Sticky Boys, both of us. So the big car is going to be fast and hooked up. So anyway, should be fun. Should be fun. I'll see you guys there. I made it out here. Ben's impatient, so he didn't even say anything and just went and got in line. Uh, my car is warmed up. Pretty much ready to go. So I guess I'll let him do a solo run. See what he thinks. This is going to be his first time on the uh, really grippy uh, 225 Federals aired down, so this will be an interesting experience for him. Alright, we're going out for this is going to be our first run. So, just going to take it a little easy, see how things go. Not too bad for first run off the trailer. First run out the gate. So what we're doing there is cooling our tires off. Because especially a day like this where we're doing hot lap, you know, lap after lap, the tires get incredibly hot. And the hotter they get, the faster they deteriorate. Man, I haven't driven this car in quite a bit. Like a yeah, I told you. Like yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and you have to be more, like you have to hit the line at, right at the beginning. You can't like adjust as much.
on that side. Ah, oh, that hurt. That hurt my ear so bad. Oh man, I think I might go deaf. I'm gonna have to help you put a muffler on your car. The ear piercing. I really think I blew my eardrum out. <laughs> so dialed in this car compared to like every other car I own. match it up with my car that is my old Z that thing is still getting drifted the thing's probably done between me the previous owner and now this guy I mean probably 3,000 laps I would guess a, a lot of laps and as far as I know the motor has not been replaced that thing is a freaking trooper man that was a good little car all right well we went to go back out to kill our tires and uh Ben's car doesn't want to crank so we got to figure that out I'm sure it'll be something simple one of them things teething issues i mean he didn't have any issues last time he got lucky so had to have some stupid issue this time uh interesting thing ben did two extra laps than me his cars are his tires are still like okay and mine are about smoked so and i think the difference is just that i'm staying on throttle he's not used to running with the super grippy tires so i'm used to staying on throttle with him and keeping him spinning and he's not so it's just it's interesting how much throttle control and how much throttle and wheel speed you have varies how much tire you use like same tire same everything else like makes a big difference so anyway gotta figure this out though worst case we can push start it all right we got ben's car sorted basically he wired his, his car up using the factory turn signals and and the factory ignition switch and uh basically just the ignition switch couldn't handle that much current being run through it
Thumbs up is like, that was solid. No complaints. It's kind of like, good. But like shaking thumbs up, like, yeah, is like, that was a good lead run, do that again. <laughs> it's kind of funny. That's like our, that's like drifter language. Dropping off pressure. I got a, I have a fuel pressure sensor. I just didn't put it in. Ugh, that's so stupid. I can't really put it in with these rails. Dang it. Really need to get this 6-2 swap done so I can just have everything refreshed. solve it pressure issue it's cutting out again i gotta figure it out well my car started doing the lean out thing again uh it started raining right after that ben's doing a run in the rain where is he oh there he is he wants to figure it out in case that clutch kicker as it rains he is not drifting though oh 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 yeah it's gonna be tricky his tires have got to be not too good either and those federals probably aren't good in the rain you really need like an all season kind of tire for good rain drifting. Something with big sights. Dang, I need to load my car up, but it's raining. In case you wondered what the uh, sunshine state uh, looks like in summer. <laughs> you just get kind of monsoons every day. Normally it's like a two hour monsoon, like just pouring down rain for an hour or two, and then it quits, but uh, not today. It's been raining for like an hour and a half. I finally just loaded up in the pouring rain. And there's a bunch of traffic because there was a, a, a SpaceX launch today, which is exactly the opposite direction. So all these people are coming back from the SpaceX launch. And uh, yeah, there's traffic on the way in from the SpaceX launch. It has been a rough day, but absolutely worth it to finally tandem with Ben in the LS Miatas. That was so much fun. It felt so sick. The cars are so evenly matched. Like, oh, that was a lot of fun. I'm really glad we got to do that before I swapped the 6.2 into my car. So with the issues I'm having, I mean, I definitely, I was debating whether or not I'd swap the 6.2 before clutch kickers, because I was like, it's going to be a tight time crunch with everything I have going on. Uh, but after that, definitely going to do it because it, I need to resolve some of those issues. It might be that I like clogged up my injectors or you know something like that, I don't know. Um, so anyway, I really need to go through all that stuff. And uh, the clutch is, is on its way out and it's not just putting a bigger motor in, it's kind of resolving a bunch of other issues as well. So I think I'm probably just gonna go ahead and suck it up and do it, try to yank the motor out tomorrow, start getting everything ready. Shouldn't take long to do the, the motor swap and the main essential stuff I need to do. I just might have to hold off on all the other upgrades I wanna do until after, but we'll see. Anyway, I, I mean, I guess that's it for this video, huh? <laughs> Had a lot of fun. 
Uh, definitely cool to tandem with Ben. Fun to tandem with him on uh, super sticky tires, gripped up cars. That was a lot of fun. So overall, not a bad day. We just got a long traffic -y drive home in the rain, and then we're going to get to work tearing the uh, motor out of this thing. So I'll see you guys for that. But for now, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Goodbye.